Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a haul of some new bits that I got from the new store H Beauty, which is opened in Lakeside, which I very lucky to actually work at. So I'm going to talk through some bits that I've purchased and have also been gifted through work, and I'm going to pop some of them on my face. So please give this video a massive thumbs up if you enjoy it, and subscribe down below. Make sure you also hit the notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload. Other than that, let's get on into the video. So I've got a cute little bag here, which is full of some products that I'm gonna pop on my face. I've got duplicates of some products, so obviously I'll only be using one of each, and I might be doubling up where I can, like primers and stuff like that. But let's just pull stuff out of the bag and see what I've got, and then we'll do a full face. So the first product I'm gonna grab is my Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. This was actually really kindly gifted to me. I am actually an ambassador for Anastasia, so that's really exciting. So as you can see, I have already dived into this palette. It's looking a little bit battered already. <laughs> but yeah, I absolutely love this palette. This is beautiful. I think it retails for about 40 six pounds but i'll leave everything linked down below i really like the shades in this they're very very neutral you can use it for every day but you've also got the shimmers for like more of a glam look and the brush as well in here is actually really good i know with most eyeshadow palettes when you get a brush they're like rubbish and you throw them in the bin but this one is actually really good and it's really handy to actually have one for travel as well so another anastasia product this is my loose setting powder in translucent again this was gifted to me this powder is beautiful, you get so much in there. I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but it's um, very full. The only thing with this, and I was actually told by our trainer, that they actually leave the seal halfway on so you don't get this, like the build up in the pan. But that is my fault, I was too eager to open it before our training session. So unfortunately I have got like a load of product in there, but it's fine. As long as you're careful with it, it's fine. But yeah, this loose powder is really lovely, it looks really beautiful under the eyes and also to set the face. Another product which you would have actually seen in my Charlotte Tilbury testing video, which I'll leave linked up there. This is the Cheek to Chic blush. So I probably won't be using this one today because you have already seen it. But yeah, that is my blush, which is beautiful. It's got the um, blush around the edge and the highlight in the middle. So you can use it all together as blush, or you can also use it use the middle section individually as well as a highlight. But yeah, it's a really nice pinky tone, got a slight sheen through it and yeah, it's got a mirror as well, which is really handy. Another Anastasia product. This is one that I actually purchased myself when I went in the other day. This is my Dewy Setting Spray. It looks really glittery on the outside. However, it isn't glittery. It's got a really nice, I don't know if you'll be able to see, like a really nice fine mist. And it smells like coconut, so it's beautiful. <laughs> but yeah, it leaves a really nice dewy finish to the skin. Just like it's a finishing touch once I've done my whole makeup. Next up, another blusher. This again was gifted to me from Pixie. This is their On The Glow blush. It's a stick, so it's like a peachy shade. So it is just a blush that you like push up and then you just kind of, I'm just gonna pop a little bit on my skin and then you kind of get the color payoff. So it is really pigmented, but it's really nice once you like blend it out. If I show you, it does go a little bit more sheer. So yeah, it's really beautiful on the skin. I also do put it over my powder and it doesn't take my makeup off, which is really good. You can obviously twist the product up and then push it back down again so it doesn't get ruined. So yeah, that's my Pixie blush stick. For foundation, I picked up the Ordinary Coverage Foundation, which I've heard so many good things about. This is in the shade 1.1N, which is like fair neutral. This is a full coverage foundation. So I have used this a couple of times and I'm really, really enjoying using it, but I'm gonna use this today as well so you can see how it looks. Also from The Ordinary, I picked up the Ordinary Highest Spreadability Fluid Primer, which again, I've heard really good things about. This is really good for oily skin, which is why I picked it up. It's that kind of like serum kind of formula, but it smooths the skin as well. And I feel like it does have a little bit of a silicone-y feel, so it does feel like it's filling in your pores and things like that. Next up is a Huda palette that I purchased myself. This is the Pastels Lilac palette. So it looks like this inside. It's really, really beautiful. So beautiful. Should we do half and half? So like pastel one side, neutral the other and then have like a neutral lip for the pastel side and a red lip for the, we'll try that. Let's let's give that a go and see how, see how that works out. Next up is another Anastasia product. I didn't know if you could tell, I do really enjoy their product. This is their bronzer in the shade Rosewood. So it just looks a bit like that. So this is the, I think it's the second lightest. I didn't go for the first one because it looked quite cool toned and I wanted something a little bit warmer. But yeah, I've used this already. Again, beautiful product, really pigmented blends in beautifully. Now for concealer, I've got my Uma concealer, which is the Stay Woke concealer, and I've got mine in the shade 
0.75 white pearl so i heard so many amazing things about this concealer and also their foundation which i do want to try so their concealer it also has skincare benefits in it as well so it hydrates the um under eye and yeah so I'm, i've been using this really full coverage don't need a lot of it at all but it blends in beautifully which you'll see in a minute so again these products you saw in my charlotte tilbury testing videos so these are the pillow talk products so i've got the lip liner the lipstick and the gloss which i was all gifted so yeah i'm not going to go through them too much because you have already seen them the same goes for my pillow talk push up lashes mascara you saw how that worked in that video if you haven't obviously already watched it i will leave it linked so you can go and check out these products but yeah beautiful mascara gives amazing volume intense blackness and yeah it's just a really really good mascara moving back on to anastasia beverly hills i've got some of their brow products here which i was again gifted i've got these all in the shade medium brown so i've got the brow wears which is like a skinny pencil with a spoolie on the end i've got the clear brow gel and i've also got the dip brow gel so yeah all in medium brown obviously except for the clear gel and yeah amazing brow products once again another charlotte tilbury product that i was gifted i'm not going to talk about this too much again this is the pillow talk eyeshadow palette which i did use in my previous video but yeah beautiful quad really good for every day you can also glam it up with the sparkly sparkly <laughs> with the sparkly eyeshadow but yeah beautiful palette really easy to use really blendable so also when i was gifted some products i was gifted some little sample products from Arborian. so here i've got two primers which is their matte cream and their pink primer and care so as i said these are primers but they've also all of their products have got skincare benefits in which i think is really cool so yeah they're the primers and then I also got a BB cream and a CC cream in the shades Nude. And then I also got the CC Doll Correct and the CC Red Correct. So these are really good correcting creams for, as it says, dullness and redness. So it does exactly what it says on the tin, which is really good. And then lastly, when I went into H Beauty and I bought my products, I also got some free samples, which is amazing. So I got the Wonder Glow from Charlotte Tilbury, which is their Instant Soft Focus glow primer so i'm going to try and use a bit of that as well as the ordinary one today i also got the a little mini laura mercier uh, powder and then the gucci mascara which is the Le, Le obscure mascara i don't already have actually a sample of this which i was sent from gucci but i'm gonna use this today because you've already seen the charlotte tilbury one that is everything i got either purchased or gifted so we're now going to pop all of that on my face as i said i'm going to do half of a more neutral with a red lip and the other half with a pastel eye and a more neutral lip. So I think I'm gonna start on with, off with my eyes. So I'm just gonna take my Uma concealer and I'm just gonna use that to prime both of my lids. Okay, so if we start with the pastel side, let's use the Lilac Huda Beauty palette. I think first of all, I'm gonna dip in with the shade. I might mix these two more neutral shades here. They haven't got shade names, which I don't know why it really bugs me because I just love a shade name on a palette. I don't know why. So yeah, I'm gonna mix them two together and just use that as my like transition shade. Just like that, as you can see, it's really pigmented. I only dipped into them two shades like a couple of times and already that's given loads of pigment. Next, I think I'm gonna go in with this really, really pale lilac shade right at the bottom. I don't know if you can see, but there is actually a little bit of like fallout, if that makes sense, falling off of the pans. See, that shade is very, very fair, even for me. And I'm probably going to build it up with a slightly darker one, but just to give me a base. Yeah, that's really quite fair. So I'm going to take the top left shade, the more lilac -y shade, and build that up. See, that shade's looking a lot nicer on top of that. I am getting a little bit of fallout, which is fine. That's why I always do my eyeshadow first. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the slightly darker lilac shade and just keep building that colour up. Oh, I really like that colour. <laughs> Again, there is a lot of fallout in the pan and also on my face. They're blending really beautifully together. I really don't know what colours to use on my lid. There's way too many options. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a mixture of these two. So I think I might start with a dark one on the more like outer part and then use that more in the inner. Ooh. That glitter shade is really pretty. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn my brush over and I'm going to get the slightly lighter shade and pop that on the inner corner. 
Then I'm just gonna go back in with a little bit more of that darker shade and just kind of keep blending the two together. For the neutral side, I'm gonna take my Anastasio Soft Glam Palette. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be really boring and just use two shades. So I think I'm gonna go in with Burnt Orange in my crease and then use a little bit of bronze on my lid for a bit of glitter. So I'm just going in straight away with the shade Burnt Orange. I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of orange soda, which is slightly lighter, and just kind of use that to blend out the edges a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that golden shade bronze and I'm just gonna use that on my finger and pop that on my lid. That shade is beautiful. It literally just one little swipe of my finger and the pigment is just beautiful. I'm gonna go in with the big fluffy brush that I used for burnt orange and just kind of blend around that. Just like that, very simple, very smoky and orange. So we've got two completely different eyes at the minute. So let's move on to our base. For primer, I'm gonna go in with these two. I'm gonna use the Ordinary Serum first all over to kind of create that smooth looking base. And then I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury one on my high points of my face where I want a little bit more glow. I'm just gonna pop the Wonder Glow Charlotte Tilbury one just on my high points. So I'm just gonna focus it kind of on my cheeks, on my like, cheekbone. And I'm going to pop a little bit down my nose, on my cubic spur. And then I'm going to go in with the Ordinary Coverage Foundation. I've just taken one pump on my sponge. See, it's really beautifully starting to cover any areas that I need covering, like my spots around my chin. So that is how my base is looking with that foundation. I think it is really beautiful. The shade, I think, is really nice match for me and also the coverage is brilliant like as i said i had these areas over here that i wanted to cover and i think it's covered it perfectly for concealer i'm going to go in with my Uma concealer as i said this is really full coverage you don't need an awful lot at all i just love how easy it is to blend this product out Okay, so that's how the concealer is looking. I think that's really brought the base all together. So for powder, I have the Laura Mercier one and I also have the Anastasia one. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier under my eyes and then the Anastasia one all over to set the rest of my face. And I'm just gonna take a slightly smaller brush and then I'm just gonna use that to press the product under my eyes. And then I'm gonna take my Anastasia translucent powder for the rest of my face. I've just realized I didn't show you the red lipstick that I want to use for my neutral side, so obviously I'll show you that when I actually get to that point. So for bronzer, I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia one in the shade Rosewood. So yeah, as you can see, it's such a beautiful color. It's more of that ready toned, which I prefer, again, which is why I chose this one over the lightest bronzer shade. So that again is how the bronzer is looking. So for blush, I'm gonna go in with my Pixie on the glow stick blush so i'm just gonna twist it up and i just apply this straight to my cheek and then i just go in and kind of give my cheek a little slap and as i said i've already powdered but this still blends in really beautifully even after you've powdered and it gives a really beautiful glow as well which i really like and then i'm going to take the smallest amount just on my finger and just use that on the tip of my nose. I don't know if you've noticed, but I haven't actually got a highlighter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the inner part of the Charlotte Tilbury blush to use as highlight. It gives quite a subtle glow, but I quite like it. That's my base pretty much done. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly use some of my Dewy Sitting Spray just to set that all in place. There's no glitter particles or anything like that I sat on my skin, which is what I absolutely hate. I cannot stand that with um, glowy setting sprays. You don't get any of that with that. It just gives a nice glow and it just melts the products into your skin. I'm gonna go in with brows. So I'm gonna first of all take my dip brow gel and I'm just gonna start in the middle of my brow and just quickly brush some of that through. But for every day, I kind of just use that it on its own with the clear brow gel. But I'm just gonna quickly take a little bit of my brow whiz just to fill in any gaps and add any hair strokes that I feel like I need to. So I just kind of like to come underneath my brow and kind of sharpen that and then push some of the product upwards to create more like hair like strokes. And then on my arch, I'm missing some hairs. 
So I just like to draw some in there and then I just kind of brush it through with a spoolie just to make it look a little bit softer. And then I just go in with my clear gel just to set that all in place and push my eyebrow hairs up a little bit. Right, I'm just gonna quickly curl my lashes and then we'll move on to mascara. I'm gonna take my little Gucci Le Obscuru, Le Obs I can't pronounce it. And let's give them really beautiful length. So that is how the mascara looks. So the next challenging bit is gonna be doing two lips. So I'm gonna do red on this side and a neutral lip on this side. So I'm just gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick and do that on my pastel side. So that is the Pillow Talk side and I'm gonna do the red side on that side. <laughs> said side way too many times. So this is the Uma lipstick in Savage, but wait till you see this lipstick. I'm hoping the camera is gonna do it justice. Hoping you can see how beautiful and sparkly that is. That is like a red sparkly lipstick. So we're gonna pop that on this side. So this probably looks a little bit crazy, but that is my neutral side. And then that's more colorful side. But yeah, that's how the red lipstick looks on this side. But yeah, that is the overall finished look. I know I look a little bit crazy at the minute because I've got two sides. But I thought that would just be the best way to show you all the pro as many products as I could. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a massive thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe down below and turn on the notification bell so you are notified whenever I upload. But yeah, lots more videos to come every Wednesday at 4pm. So have a lovely rest of the week, guys, and I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye!